Idibia's brother Wisdom came out to accuse Annie of negligence. Hello, my people. Yes, it's your girl, Posh Girl Blog, bringing you the latest as usual. Yes, guys, it's the story today is about Annie Idibia and her older brother known as Wisdom. Yes, yes. Wisdom came up online and started narrating how Annie has been so negligent towards him and towards his family. Yes, he did say in a few from his own words that Annie has not been there for him. Annie has been upset. There are instances where Annie do send him money and the money is not sufficient. He also claimed that sometimes Annie's husband, which we know as Two-Faced Baba, yes, Two-Faced, did sometimes send money to Wisdom, which is him that's narrating the story. But sometimes this is not getting to him because Annie is upset and the money has been taken away from him. Guys, I don't really know what is going on here. This guy just came out all of the sudden and started blabbing different things. Who knows? Is it truth or not true? But the most thing that baffles me about the whole thing, when you look at this guy properly, you will see that he's like someone that's on high on one thing or the other. I don't even know. Does it take wee wee? Just have a look at him. Even he himself, he narrated that Annie uses some substances, which I cannot mention as you guys know. Yes. Does Annie look like someone that uses high substances or substances to get high? Honestly, I do not know. But this guy said that he's been manipulated and he doesn't even have shame on top of it he goes oh to his wife people in the video that i'm sorry i have not paid my wife bride price because i've been manipulated all these years guys honestly the thing get us to be a few people have come out and commented and then say go and get a job and stop depending on your sister some other did say that come on guy to crown you are even the oldest brother you should be the one taking care of Annie and not Annie doing that for you. Some people did say, Annie is your older sister. Guy, get a life. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't actually blame them saying this comment. An older brother, some people do things to forget. Not because you're a celebrity or you live abroad or one thing or the other means that someone has it all the time. Yes, 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 guys. What do you have to say about this? Watch the video yourself and see how he was narrating his story and then leave your comment below. What do you think about what he said? Do you agree with what he said? Do you think he's telling the truth or do you think it's a family issue that shouldn't be brought online? Yes, yes, yes. Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and also follow. Thank you so much. Hello Nigerians, my name is Wisdom Macaulay, I'm elder brother of Annie Macaulay Dibia. I'm crying out for help now, at this moment my life is being threatened. I have been working with my sister for some time, but she will never pay me my dues. She would rather send me 20,000, 30,000, turn me to her slave. And at the end of the day, she can decide when she's angry to end it. Last, some weeks back, her husband sent me some money, gave me some money. I've been begging him for years. The money wasn't a, so much, but I used it to settle my home. I have a wife. Emo states, I am sorry. They have not come to do the right thing. They have not come to me pay your daughter's dowry. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I've been manipulated for many, many, many years. Annie introduced me to drugs, hard drugs. Annie takes drugs. She's a drug addict. She takes it every day. She is so violent. And what? And it is the same thing. The same way she doesn't have peace with anybody. She quarrels everybody. She fights everybody. I defended her. I defended her because I love her as a sister. But I now realize that she doesn't even have love or any good intentions for me. I wasn't around for two weeks. I came back because I had my own issues I was trying to sort. I came back, begged my sister that we should continue with the things that, the work and everything. She decided to take everything away from me. 
She took away the job. She wouldn't give me a car. I've been begging my sister for a car to do Uber for many years now so that I can at least on my own provide for my family, provide for my wife and my three children. My sister has never responded to me. I came back to beg her, okay, let me continue with the job, the manager job that she offered me. She offered me to be her manager. But then at the end of the day, she turned me to her errand boy. She turned me to a slave. Annie is evil. Like, she will not... She, she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. Then this afternoon, after she sent me out of the house, I heard that she went on social media to say I beat her. Nigerians, if I beat Annie inside Two Faces' house, will I be able to sleep in Richmond Estate, in Legoshi, for one night? I was there for five, for six, for six days, begging my sister for an opportunity to work, opportunity to feed my children, opportunity to stand on my own. But she will not give me a chance. Every slight opportunity, she will call my wife and insult my wife. She insults everybody. She is violent. Every night she's on drugs. Every day she's on drugs. Even as she's reading this, even as she's hearing this now, she knows that I'm saying the truth, that she's ordering for crack. She introduced me to it. I was never like this. And sometimes the thing got, got, got into my head. I believe that, okay, as a sister, maybe she had good intentions. If you go back to my previous pictures, this is not how I look. This is not who I am. At the end of the day, she now took away the only opportunity for me to be able to feed my own family from me. Because she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. This morning, I've been begging Annie for the least car in her, in her compound. The least car to you Uber. But at the end of the day, I'll come and drop it for us. At least we want to provide for my family. My sister refused. And she got me frustrated when she told me I can no longer work for her. She will no longer help me. Just because I did not go for one week of which I was calling her. The moment she realized that her husband gave me small money, she now she blocked every means of communication with me and set me up to lose the only way that I can feed my children. Nigerians, I am crying. I am begging. I am begging for help. I just want to be able to stand on my own. As I when I was leaving her house, after she told me to leave this morning, I took the car with a mindset that I will use it for Uber and refund it to, and, and, and returning it back to her. But she sent her driver with some boys with knives. Nigeria, she sent her driver with knives and Godwin, her driver, with knife. They were hitting the car, hitting the car, so I was afraid. I did not know what was happening. I now parked the car somewhere and ran for my dear life. Nigerians, she now called the police to tow the car to Ogombo, Ogombo police station. As I'm speaking to you now, she has sent threats everywhere. My life is at risk. My wife's life is at risk. My family, my children, everybody's at risk. Please, I want Nigerians to know today that if anything happens to me or any member of my family, it is not far from Annie. I need help. Please, I need help. I beg, I beg, I need help. I cannot continue like this. I'm scared. I don't know what she's going to do next. She's on drugs. She's on drugs. She's so violent. Annie is so violent. Annie is so ill-tempered. Annie is so angry with everybody. She fights everybody from her in-laws. Even her own mother cannot talk to her. Even my wife, Doris, she insults my wife at every slight opportunity because she's the one at the end of the day that will say, okay, take 20,000 and eat and I only ask for an opportunity to be able to do something for myself and the same car she sent people that train almost killed me this afternoon and now she has towed the car to the police station Nigeria's please I need help please please